What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Today is the short form of the patch notes. I'm going to go over this for those of you guys who missed the stream. We streamed for a few hours. The live stream is probably processing right now, so it'll be done about an hour if you guys want to watch that full form to just kick it at your desk at work or whatever. Uh, that'll be available soon. Uh, but in this video, we are going to talk about the patch notes, everything that's going to be coming. I'm going to give you guys my take on that and kind of talk to you guys about what you guys can kind of do to prepare and any general questions I'll be asking and like answering in like different videos. So what's going to be happening today, guys, they pushed the patch time up a little bit. So it should be happening about 1050, but it's going to be down for a considerable amount of time. Like up to 11, like anywhere between 1750 and 11 uh, p.m. UTC. So we're talking anywhere from a five to nine hour patch, like no question. So make sure you guys have something to do. Now, the in terms of what the patch is going to be covering, we got summon system improvements, hero relationship improvements, Apocalypse Ravi is finally here, the first batch of hero balance adjustment, and then other improvements and adjustments, and of course, free and equip event because of course a batch of you know buffs and stuff and uh, the next free gear removal will probably be next month around September 5th when they do the next round of buffs but just you know just so you guys are aware of that why you guys aren't seeing your Lilibet or Lydica or Bissar buffs you know or Ner and ML Kali buffs and you know nerfs and stuff like that this month so be prepared for that now first up guys we're going to talk about the galaxy bookmarks and the refund notice which is going to be happening today so so following the update on 8 8 players will receive uh 50 reimbursement for galaxy bookmarks and mystic metals used so now as you you guys remember in the summon system improvements notice it mentioned something about batches but i think that might have been a typo because they didn't say anything about batches here and from what they made it sound like with the reimbursement period is they're just kind of say they're saying here players should accept this mail uh, within 14 days, right? So we got two weeks to accept our refund, right? But I think everybody's going to get it up front. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure everybody's going to get your refund up front. So it'll be 50% of all the Galaxy bookmarks and Mystic Metals that you have used from August 30th, 2018 to August 2nd, right? Because August 30th was around the time that Epic 7 started service. So from August 30th through August 2nd, 2019, it was when the eligible period. So if you guys have ML bookmarks right now or Transmit Stones right now, I'll probably just summon it right now because you got really nothing to lose. Now, actually, on that note, hold your Transmit Stones right now. Some of your Galaxy bookmarks right now, but your Transmit Stones right now hold because if they do actually add the mls to the four to five hero tickets then that could change the parameters here a little bit so next up we got part one of the actual thing here so this one just mentions like the summon system improvements which basically lets you know that the moonlight heroes are going to be added to the pool now so five star moonlight hero four star moonlight heroes you guys can see the rates are significantly lower than the other rates but you definitely have a chance of pulling them as well uh, they revamped the ml summon interface so you guys can see everything here and from the looks of it as we pull through if you guys notice down here it says wanderer silk is added here with the four star moonlight hero after champions rato because that means that all the four star mls will add, be added in and everybody has an opportunity will have an opportunity to pull for all traditional mls and then all that means all the ml5s will probably be added in as well as filler content in between now what that means for us is that the pacing for how, how often we're going to get new ml heroes is going to be longer right now these new heroes are going to start to be spread out further and further kind of mixed up with content and balancing of the meta and you know heroes and stuff like that so be cognizant of that content will kind of get thinned out a little bit because that means they're trying to pace content now, there was also some visual improvements here, guys. So we got Strat Gauntlet going on. Not for Strat Gauntlet, but if you guys can see when you summon four and five star artifacts, you guys can see there's some color to let you know what's going on. Same thing with uh, the color purple to for four to five star Moonlight Heroes. So just some cool stuff there. Now, with the Hero Relationship Improvement System, how this is set up is like as your, you know, your character like kind of goes through the story and as you advance the story, they're saying that you know, these question marks will become available with people that they're connected to. And as certain events happen in the story, their relationship can change based on what happens. So just for an example here, like, you know, with Assyria and Raz, you know, something might have happened and went wrong. So as the story advances, then the relationship will change, which I think with the system will probably affect how your camp system works too as well. But we'll have to wait to see how this pans out because this looks like a small change that's going to affect future changes later on. 
as you guys know, Moonlight Ravi is also going to be added to the pool. I know a lot of you guys are going to be going ham for Apocalypse Ravi. I might summon a little bit for her as well. Uh, I would just say be cognizant, guys, because with this first ML pool, like especially with the pity system being introduced, you're not going to have a chance to get old MLs here, right? So it's just going to be Ravi or Ravi and Ravi because they're starting the system today. So if you guys are going for the pity system, then if you guys, let's say, happen to get super unlucky, try to position, if you guys get close to 200, try to position yourself in a way that's going to allow you to be close to the next ML5. Because with the new system, if you don't pull an ML, like the ML5 in the old rotation, when the new rotation carries over, the 200 pity system will not reset. So that's going to be cool as well. Now, another thing when we touch on the pity system here for the guaranteed summons for the mystic summon system is that each summon will cause the summon counter to decrease by one. Like I said, if a player does not receive the featured five star moonlight hero after 200 summons, then the following summon is 100% guaranteed to summon that hero. If the featured five star moonlight hero is summoned, the summon counter will be reset. If the five star moonlight hero is rotated, then the summon counter will not be reset. And then what happens here is the Moonlight Heroes and the Mystic Summon list change as the Mystic Summons are also designed to include older heroes. So for instance, now they're starting with this situation where Apocalypse Ravi is going to be now the before and she's also going to be the after. If you're positioning your, let's say, within, you know, the next, you know, month or so, 40 days, you don't get Apocalypse Ravi and you're getting close to 200 and, you know, you can kind of chill a little bit so you don't pull Apocalypse Ravi and you wait for the next banner to kind of rotate over. So whoever the next ML5 is, so you have a chance to pull from either one or the other, right? Depending on what happens. So try to play this a little bit strategically when you guys look at this overall. Now, as you pull into part two, this includes the buffs for the heroes for the initial batch. Now, the initial batch includes Lulica. It includes Bale and Suzanne, it includes Ludwig, Tenebria, Leo, Roman, Rakoris, and Raz. Now, if you guys are wondering, like, yo, where the hell is the Lilibet? Where is the, you know, the rest of the buffs? Where's the Basar buffs? Where's all that? Uh, all of those were mentioned to be included in the next update, which is going to be the September update, uh, where that's going to be the next round of hero buffs. So all of those we'll see next month along the, around the same time with the ML recalls, and that's going to happen around sometime around September 5th, which I'm assuming is going to be the next free gear removal. So you guys can plan on those. Now in terms of these, I just want to give you guys general input on this. I think Lulica is going to have a lot more utility now as an auto hero. So for those of you guys who like kept running into that frustrating system where your Lulica will buff defense instead of dealing damage, causing your team to sometimes wipe and wear an 11, now she's going to make up for that with the defense break on 1, and then plus the, the change scaling on her scale 3, so I think she'll have some improved damage and, and improved utility now using the defense break on 1. So for those of you guys who don't have Luna... This uh, Lulica, and you have Lulica, Lulica could definitely be a viable option for you in a Wyvern 11 comp, especially in an auto situation. Whereas before, like I said, I thought she was more of a manual style hero. Now I think she's going to have a lot more viability. Bail and Suzanne is going to have a huge improvement with the 50% damage increase for, you know, proportional to debuffs and the overall damage increase for the 30% for his skill too. So I think Bale and Suzanne is going to, to, to be very significant now with, you know, as the meta rolls forward, like in just in terms of PvP and just overall use. And if you guys are watching the free-to-play beginners beginner guide that we're running, that we're live streaming, uh, definitely check that out because I'll talk more about that, you know, when we live stream so I can talk to you guys about the changes that I experienced with him. And then so you guys can see that live and in action so you can make a decision as to whether or not you want to use yours. Now, in terms of Ludwig, Ludwig is going to have some utility as well. They changed Ludwig's AI so he actually is programmed to use the skill 2 before his skill 3. So he'll position himself for the for the invincibility, and then he'll use the skill three, which is going to be nice as well. And now that his skill two grants invincibility, even if he doesn't kill, the way that you can use him is going to be a lot easier than it used to be. Now in Tenebria, like they reduce her cooldown on her skill three, and they also increase the chance of her to land sleep and the chance for her to land defense break. Which I think overall, I think her utility is a little bit better. But in my opinion, for me, it doesn't make me want to use my Tenebria more just because of those changes. I'm like, okay, she has a higher chance. Okay, she has a higher chance to sleep. Whoop de whoop. But I'm not, I can't say that I'm in a rush to use her anytime soon. So I like the changes, but again, they're not monumental or pretty or game changing enough for me personally to make me want to use her right away. In terms of Leo, you got an increased chance for the team attack. 
and the increased chance to stun. So for all of my Spez users out there, if you guys are looking to put a team comp together and you don't have, let's say, like an MLR Aminta, Leo definitely could be viable. Let's say you want to run a super fast Leo uh, with the AoE stun into an ML says this could be a viable comp for you guys as well. He also got a minor damage increase and the probability of his attacks chaining got increased. So I think his DPS overall is going to go up pretty significantly. Now Roman is one of those characters that I think got a really big improvement here, especially with the 80% combat readiness if the enemy is buffed. Because his positioning, you can position him fast in front of your team comp, or you can position him last at the end of your team comp, depending on what you got going on. With the 80% combat readiness and the ability to deal decent damage, you could have a potential fourth for a potential for like a Mage Cleave comp or something like that. But again, this is a hero that I'm definitely looking at testing overall, and I'd really like to see Roman in action. I'm getting my fodder ready, so you guys can expect me talking about Roman in a future video just to talk about how he can be used and how much he's improved. Uh, but until then, expect good things from Roman. Now, the last couple of things is Recourse. Captain Recourse got a pretty big improvement where now he has a higher effect chance to land his defense break if a speed buff is applied, which is cool because he buffs himself with speed anyway. And his Supreme Spear got 100% increased healing effect and he deals 41 percent more damage so i think positioning recourse especially with this kit now is going to be a lot more fun and i think he could potentially be really solid in a guild war comp especially with the way that his skills work now with raz people are saying that he's an a11 god now because he has a strip on one which is definitely something that you guys can explore and he definitely could be a hero or a budget hero that you guys could use as a front line in your a11 comps as you guys are trying to position now in terms of PvP, I don't know yet. This is going to take some testing to really see how Raz can be positioned, but I'm sure a lot of people out there are going to be testing Raz just for the sake of testing Raz because he's been pretty much obsolete for so long. Now as we pull into the last part of the patch for update content part 3, there's just a lot of changes where they've adjusted things like so bad guy attacking heroes and not dealing damage, changing some issues, adjusting some UI things. Um, they're going to be adding an unknown slate to the arena for at a discount price for about 30% cheaper than what it is. And if you guys are unsure about the unknown slate, I recommend just getting them because it's a free imprint to your 5 star heroes. So I could definitely, I would definitely, definitely, definitely get this no matter what. Um, if you guys haven't picked up the arena gear yet and you guys are sitting on enough points to get the, the attack gear, I would grab at least the accessories like the ring, grab the boots, right, and the necklace minimum, and then maybe the weapon. The only two pieces I didn't get were the helm and the chest, but if you guys have an opportunity to buy those and you guys still got points and stuff laying around, definitely pick those up before the end of preseason. Now, another important thing for the hero UI they have increased hero inventory size from 250 to 300. So it's going to be 20 sky stones per five slots. So it's 200 sky stones to let you max out your inventory. Hopefully we get some inventory expansion here pretty soon, which will be really nice. Uh, but hopefully, you know, that's just kind of a wait and see. As I mentioned before, there's some quality of life stuff where they changed Ludwig's AI so it uses this skill too. You guys should be ready for more videos because there's a lot of stuff we got to cover, um, especially as we do this. The videos will come out though as we test the heroes with the changes. And then after we get all the data mine information and stuff like that, that'll be probably coming with these patch notes uh, or with this patch since the maintenance is going to be so long. You guys can be prepared to expect a video for that as well. So anyway, guys. This wraps up the video for the short form patch notes. For those of you guys who missed the stream, you guys can just definitely check this out for the general summary. If you guys are looking for all the information, like I said, the patch notes will be included in the description. So you guys can check that out there. I'm super duper excited. We're going to be streaming the MO pools as soon as the game comes back up. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.